Check this out guys. This is a crazy detail on how to do the trap and roll or the oompa when basically someone's blocking your head when they're using that shoulder pressure to smash your face. Check this out. So is that one hand anything? So the nice thing with this is with this arm underneath my head, okay, he's already, I already have this arm trapped. So once the arm's underneath the head, the arm is already trapped. All I'm gonna do is push some weight into the back of my neck. It's really important that I'm not driving into my head. I'm actually driving through my neck. So I'm trying to flatten my neck to the ground because that's basically the place where his arm is underneath. Key to this is putting weight into the back of my head. So I use my legs. It's actually my neck, but I'm actually pushing through my legs to drive into my neck. And I push weight, pull that hand up. If he's shoulder smashing face, right, then I will move my head. So that's important. So that little detail there, guys, is the key. When they're putting that shoulder pressure in your face, what you want to do is you want to move your head to the side. And what you notice is there's nothing blocking my head over to my left side. Why is this important? Why do you think it's important for me to move my head? Because I need to look in the direction I'm going to go. And so if he's doing this, to smash my look how much he's smashing my face. Look how much my face is being turned. And look at this little adjustment I make. Face. Now I can't bridge this way. Right? So, <clears throat> can I adjust? Can you pull that hand out now, man? Okay. Once you pin their arm like that, then all it is is just doing a perfect bridge, and they go over easy as butter.